not great news, honestly, not great news, but news is news when you're going through infertility, I guess. Good morning from my bathroom. I'm getting ready to put on some makeup. Um, I just curled my hair for the first time in like oh, a week. She has a little camp that she's going to for fall break and she loves it. You love it? She said I wanna go for every day for the weekend. It gives her something to do during the days and she's been having a really fun time. So I'm gonna get myself ready for the day. Scarlett's already ready and then I'm gonna take you to camp. Blush, blush. Don't put it on your cheeks. Like, will they even notice nope, makeup? Nope, that's, that's the whole point of makeup, is to wear makeup that you don't even notice. It just enhances your natural beauty. Yeah, I don't even see the makeup. That means you're doing something right. And now we need lipstick. Pick a color, a light color. Pretty. Some people do that. What do they do? What do they do? Like What they do. That's what some people do. Mm -hmm, right? Yeah. And now I need one more eyeshadow. Wow. Whoa. You look very pretty. Wait, can I look in the mirror of that? Don't turn there. We think. Can you see your eyes? Already for the day, this is what I'm wearing. Typical Caitlin outfit, denim shorts and a t-shirt. Um, my friend Katie got me this Kansas City t-shirt and it's so, so cute. I don't know where it's from though. I'm gonna have to see if she remembers. If I can figure it out, I'll leave a link to it below. And then my denim shorts are from American Eagle from like three years ago. So <laughs> that's my outfit of the day. I wanted to share um, my favorite hair product at the moment. This is by Unite. It's their Blonda Oil. This makes my hair feel super moisturized when my hair's starting to feel really dry. I bought this from my hairstylist shop, but you can get this online too, and it's just been awesome. So I wanted to share this product. Um, I just take like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, and rub it together, and then run it through the ends of my hair. And it just, it brings moisture back to them, helps them stay not feeling dry. Extensions can start to feel dry. So there is that. Um, I'm gonna go take Scarlett to her camp. Get your lunch. Get your lunch. And your water. And your water. Are you repeating every word I say? Are you repeating every word I say? <laughs> Okay, I'm about to sit down and do some work at my desk. I bought an Apple Pencil for a Lolico. Oh, look at that. I'm working on a self-portrait. <laughs> Random. Um, I bought an Apple Pencil for Lolico so I can start making some graphics. I shared this one the other day over on Lolico. I painted this, made this on Procreate is what I'm using, and then the iPad, and then an Apple Pencil. But I'm having so much fun making all these graphics, and um, like, look how cute that is. Um, so this is what I've been literally doing all weekend is working on graphics for Lollico and doing some graphic design. Like how cute. <laughs> it looks just like our bottles. But anyways, I'm currently working on a graphic that kind of explains like everything that's not in Lollico. This is our brand, by the way, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, um, Time Nights Business. Our products are non-toxic and we leave out all of the yucky stuff that are in most products. So we have formulated like a really clean, really, really clean um, shampoo and body wash and conditioner for kids. And we have new products in the works, but there's a lot of things that we leave out of this and I just want to create like a dedicated Instagram post um, and with that I want to make some kind of graphic that kind of shares everything 
we leave out and everything we don't have in this so it's easy for you guys to refer to that post so i am going to quickly um work on this i'm definitely not going to finish it but i'm going to get started i have like in i don't know 30 40 minutes until i need to leave i'm going to brunch with my friend bailey this morning she is literally so pregnant and ready to have a baby any day so we're trying to squeeze in one last get together before things get crazy for her and she has her baby I'm in the forerunner right now because my neighbors are borrowing my car so I took Ty's car so I can go um, to breakfast with Bailey I'm actually going to pick her up because she's nine months pregnant so I'm going to pick her up and then we're gonna go to over easy I think is what it's called uh, I've eaten there before it's so so good so I'm really excited to eat <laughs> probably gonna get pancakes because pancakes sound bomb um, but I hope you guys had a good weekend we did absolutely nothing which was wonderful. Um, we were gonna go camping, but there's just some things that didn't work in our favor. We have a couple camping trips planned in the next couple of months. Scarlett and I are going to Kansas in a couple of days. She hasn't been back to Kansas since early at the beginning of the year, I think like February, January or February maybe. So Scarlett is so excited to go to Kansas and see my family and her cousin. Um, the reason we're going back though is for my sister's bachelorette party that I am throwing. I'll have to show you guys what the final product looks like once I get that graphic design um, thing done I was working on, but it's gonna take a hot second. So hopefully I can get that completed today. It's a lot, lot later now. Um, I went to brunch with Bailey and came home and I have seriously been at my computer working on, or not my computer, my iPad working on our, my graphics for Lollico all day long and I'm gonna show you guys here in a second but my hand is starting to hurt and I just can't stare at a screen anymore so we're gonna call it a day I have one more graphic to make um, but other than that we're good. okay so this is what I've been making all day um, if you guys can see those these are all of my little graphics that I've made for Lollico I think they all turned out really really cute um, so very happy with these apparently um, Instagram and Facebook is down today uh, I've not been on Instagram all day, which is I'm honestly like the break is nice However, one thing I do on Mondays is plan out Lolly Co's post and um, For Instagram and I've not been able to do that today Anyways, I wanted to sit down and just quickly give you guys an update a TTC update for those of you invested in this journey if you're not interested just skip ahead, but um, we had a fertility appointment last week and I mean, it didn't go great. It didn't go great. Um, I did a lot. I did an, another HSD procedure. I did an ultrasound of my follicles and we did um, genetic screening, like genetic screening blood work. And then I did a bunch of other blood work too. Oh, we don't have results back for the genetic testing. We won't for a couple of weeks and then we'll know our next step. Good news, my tubes are open and I knew they were. I just did an HSG a couple months ago with my OB, but he wanted to do one, so all is well there. My uterus looks great, everything's healthy there. It's just my eggs, it's my eggs and my ovaries. And my left ovary is in severe failure, severe ovarian failure. It's not producing eggs, it's not creating eggs, it's just not working. It's not working at all, which is not great news my right ovary is working it's just low functioning it's producing eggs but not as many as he was like he would like to see um or like follicles so that's going downhill because or maybe my ob didn't catch this i don't know but i didn't have that issue when i had this done back in june i think so either my ovaries are failing pretty quickly or it just wasn't really caught by my ob as much i don't know I have no idea. Not great news, honestly, not great news, but news is news when you're going through infertility, I guess. So um, basically we're waiting on blood work just to confirm everything. So hopefully we have more information or plan at our next appointment at the end of the month. So that's what's going on with that. I'm officially diagnosed with uh, diminished ovarian reserve, which you guys knew that. And then now also, uh, what is it called? Pre 
premature ovarian failure i think is what it's called so love that for me um yeah but like i said a diagnosis is a diagnosis and let's hope my right ovary pumps out those eggs and works just a little bit longer at least till the egg retrieval anyways that's my ttc update um as far as the rest of the day goes it's currently four o'clock ty and i are gonna go pick up scarlet from camp and we're gonna go to the gym together have a little family gym night um so that's what we're doing this evening probably not gonna cook tonight um i have a project i want to do so we'll see if that happens today if not i'm gonna have to do it tomorrow but i'll share that with you guys um here in a little bit once i get that done all right we are going to tackle this project actually really fast before we go get scar because i don't think it's going to take that long I could be wrong but when we moved in i was trying to decide what we wanted to do with this door because it's glass and we see inside the pantry and at first it didn't bother me when this was like kept really clean but it's just not <laughs> it's not clean anymore and i just i want this to have like a film over it i think i mean if i don't like it i'll just take it down but i am going to put up this film that i bought off of amazon that had amazing reviews we're gonna put this on the glass right there here in the kitchen here let me get like a full view so you guys can see okay so here's like a full view of the kitchen you can see into the pantry um so we're gonna give this a shot and see how this looks and yeah let's do this i'm out of reasons i'm out of rhyme but i'll only tell you that i'm out of time i'm sick of love songs i'm tired of this and i want to tell you straight just like it is you're watching me like you want me on on the outside not the inside but i don't really know the good thing about it is i can take this off and then because it just it like applies with water um so i could take this off and then redo it and put it on the outside but i don't know we'll just we need to go so i'm just gonna let this happen for now and uh if it's still like this tomorrow then i'll just redo it Day. just picked up scarlet from camp and where are we going now Got her gym clothes Going to the gym, family gym session. Do you have a fun day? Yeah. Just got home from the gym, just did weights, no cardio today, had a good workout with Ty. He um, is, guys, he's training for a 100 mile race. I've told you all about this, but it's coming up. I cannot even imagine running 100 miles. He's literally gonna be running for 24 hours. So um, it's a different type of race. You run very slow. Um, because you have to but he has been training for this I mean it's been months um, but he's really been picking up his training lately and just doing really slow long runs. so he just left for a 10 mile run we'll see if he does more than that I feel like mosquito bites all over me that's what I'm doing <laughs> um, but yeah he just left for his daily run he's been doing this daily doing like 10 to 20 miles every day which is beyond me the um, door by the way is looking a lot better doors looking a lot better it's definitely still streaky so i don't know we'll see i'll give it some time for like the air to come out of it but i don't know what do you guys think i mean i love that i can't see inside it but it doesn't look a hundred percent yet you can't see through do you like the door what happened <laughs> what do you think i don't know what happened we put something on it what do you think about the door Good. Do you think it looks good? Yeah, but why, why do you have to put this on there? Looks a little nicer, kind of. <laughs> we got our Chipotle. I ordered a burrito. Ty got a burrito bowl. Scarlett got a chocolate milk and chips and a little quesadilla meal. Also, we're going to be taking family photos soon and... I don't know if I'm gonna have Scarlett wear this for family photos or not. You wanna see it? It's a little bit more springy than I thought. But I ordered this dress for her from Jamie K. Look at 
Look how pretty that is. It's so cute. It has little like um, pink and purple florals on them. So I don't know, we will see, but I think this is actually gonna go well. I am anxiously waiting on Bailey to text me and tell me she's in labor because I am going to take her kids if she is in labor. So she said she's having contractions, but we will see. She's 39 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So if she does go into labor, I am racing out the door, running to her house because she has really fast, fast babies. But anyways, I'm giving Scarlett a bath right now. I'm not really giving her a bath. I'm just hanging out with her in here because she's a big girl. Okay, I have Liam here Hi. and baby Scarlett. She's going to have going a little, like, cute little baby. She's going, she's going to have a baby. Bailey went into labor and I got the call at about, what time? Like, I, I don't, don't know, eight o'clock. 8.45 right now. I am going to have a sleepover with her other kiddos and she is off to have a baby. So, you guys uh -huh. so excited to have another sister? Yes! So I'm at Bailey's house right now and I'm um, going to stay with her kids so she can go have a baby. I'm going to call it a vlog. I have a long night ahead of me hanging out with these kiddos. Appreciate you all being here and watching my videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Uh -huh.